Hey, there you are. Oh, hi. Welcome to Bond on a Quip, episode 316 God. on the 9th of April, 2024. I'm Wemb. Feels like we only started four weeks ago. And with me, as always, <laughs> is Tempest. Hey, oh, Temp. Hey. How, um, how are you going? I'm good. Wait. Let's hear about it in real life. Did you answer the question of life? What are we doing? So real life. Sorry, I've just realised I've put my coffee cup down right at the mic. Sorry, everyone. So I've got a delicious, delicious coffee. Evertel never does that. Just saying. <laughs> um, I worked very yeah, early. You know what? Evertel had her baby in half an hour. Bang. Come back to me when you've had a 11 pounder and it takes all day, even when you're induced. <clears throat> okay. Just let that go though. Twenty one years later. Um, how how are you going? Good. I worked very early on Saturday. Stupid, Saturday. Stupidly early. And you've Did worked stupidly early all a week. A lot. Yes. All week Did since. Three trips to the wharf with the B double trailer, which I really I enjoy way too much. I and I try not to let them see how much I enjoy it because. <laughs> When they say B double, I'm their bitch, and they know it. <laughs> so I have to act like I'm not. Yeah, uh, it's the epitome of a boy with a very big toy. No, but I normally I work every day with a much better toy, but I just no, it's you the love toy, the B double. The toy you haven't got, you know, is the one you want to play with. <laughs> Am I right? Um, <laughs> which I really enjoy, as I said. Mm. Then I met up with you and our two sons at your work and helped set up the room for term two. Yes, uh, I was very pleased. So we've been doing this probably for two years, do you think? Yeah. The boys have been coming to help. Yeah. And um, we do it so that um, it doesn't take all day and um, it gives Wem a hand with all the heavy stuff. Yep. Um, but I loved it when uh, my eldest son said, oh, Mum, this isn't going to work. There is like a run zone from here to the end, other end of the room. They know so, the terms. Yeah, so um, they know about positioning furniture to stop children from just being able to plough through the room. So uh, uh, it was nice that um, even though they don't work in the industry, they picked that up. I say one term, just let them plough. No. Let them plough. No, because it's the chaos. I, I, I'm not a fan. I love it. Okay. We also said goodbye to our beautiful cat, Misty, who is very old and frail. Was she 16? Yes. And yes, just was. wasn't having a very good quality of life anymore? No, she had hyperthyroidism. So um, we'd been treating that for two or three years. But um, over the last three months, she dropped from just being under, just under four kilos, which is tiny for a cat anyway, to um, two kilos. So yep. she'd really lost a lot of quality of life. And she'd never been good at grooming and she was completely not grooming. So... That fell to then um, Angus, who was trying to brush her and stuff every day, but she was still kind of matted and clumpy. And, um, and he's a young dude. He's got a life. Yeah, and, you know, he's got uni and he's got um, – and he works one day a week. And um, she was she was a really a lot of work and he never, ever complained about it. Um, and she really had a very pampered last four years of her life. And, yeah. Um, Angus was at her beck and call, and in fact, if he wasn't there, she would meow, and we'd hear a meow for him, and we'd have to go down and find out what was wrong. Um, but most of the time, he was there and looking after her all the time, and um, she was separated from the other riffraff. Which, Absolutely, which she loved. Yes, she didn't she like being... She wasn't a social cat. She did not like our other cat, and she did not like our dog, so she no. enjoyed being having her own space. Yep, and we've put her in a pot under a little tree. A baby bay leaf tree. Yep. Hmm. So we can look at it and remember her. Yeah. So, which is what we've done with all of our pets. It has been a huge week between you um, working. So we had didn't have much weekend. And I've also written five out of my... 
18 reports, which is uh, I've got three days of holidays to go and 13 reports to go. Goodness. No pressure. I should smash out a few tomorrow, so hopefully yep. that'll even it up. And uh, today I got to hang out with our gorgeous grandbaby, um, which I have to say, last week the princess sent me a or sent us a video of Theo watching the podcast, and at which at the point that I started saying, hello, Bubba, hello, Bubba, he got the biggest grin on his face, so he was watching as well. So that was really so, cute. Do you want to say hello to him now? Hello, Bubba. <laughs> My little man, that's what he is. Uh, so uh, that was pretty That was pretty cool that he recognised it and responded in that way. He's gotten to a beautiful age where he's now really... Starting to recognise recognize people remember and, you when yeah, you go and see him. Like it's and... not just a different person coming in, so that's really cute. Yes. Um, and tomorrow we've got someone coming to clean our solar panels and we live on a quite tall um, two-storey house and no mention of scaffolding, so that should Well, be the guy, when he originally came to look at it, said, oh, it's got to be scaffolded, but they didn't say anything about it in the final no. report. So we'll see what happens. It could be uh, on uh, emergency dial alert. <laughs> and then your car's going in for its very first service already. Yep, freebie. Yeah, nice. Hurrah. Yeah, and we'll get them to sort out that uh, issue with your entertainment system. Yeah, I think it's just, I just haven't worked out what I need to be doing. Mm, they need to fix it. Anyway, mm. let's move it on and see if there's something we need to discuss. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I have a discussion topic. Oh, have you? And buckle in for this one. Oh, no. No, no, it's not bad. It's oh, just, okay. it's, there's big feelings here. <laughs> um, so I've, I've moved from our comments section, I've moved up a piece of correspondence from our good friend Snowy. Oh, we love Snowy. And he says, what do you reckon time running pandemonium will be? He <laughs> just watched... like, I've just read that and gone, well, I don't know. Sure. <laughs> He's watched Talies and Evertel's video on it, but wondered what my detailed investigative journalism has found on Thoughtbot. Oh, so we should go and watch Talies. Well, I didn't check Thoughtbot. I've done extensive research on Alakazam, my friend. <laughs> and here's my prediction. I think they're going to release Time Walking Siege of Orgrimmar mm. with bells and whistles. Uh, original, like... What's the Siege of Orgrimmar? That, the, the, it, the raid? Pandaria Raid. Yes, yes, okay. The Got one it. that went forever. yeah. yeah. Only for us, Which probably. Which tainted out. No, it went for like a, over, like a year. Oh, I see. Yeah, it went With too no long. But anyway, it was yep. still a great road. One of the best. Mm. Uh, and I think the return of Challenge Mode Dungeons, and that will herald in Time Walking Mythic Plus style versions of Time Walker Dungeons. Mm. So That's, harder Time Walkers, like for end players. Well, two different levels of Time Walker, mm. maybe. Interesting. Maybe. That's a possibility. That's... But I think mainly it's going to be the Siege of Orgrimmar. Mm. Why, could, why do you think the Siege stuff. of Orgrimmar? Well, because they... Why would they bring a time-walking raid in? They've, I know they've got one... Because they've brought one in for each expansion. Oh, have they? They don't have a vanilla. Anyway, Sorry. that's what I think will happen. Here's what should happen with time-walking events. Uh-oh. Time-walkers should be Ian, every week. are you listening? Yeah, Ian, take note. <laughs> time-walkers should be every week or every second week. They need to add some vanilla dungeons into the rotation. I know that they sort of see Cataclysm as vanilla now, like mm. when you do the... Um, no, when you do one of those old dungeons that we love. Yeah, when you go to Chromie, though, they've put vanilla with Cataclysm but now for where, when you choose where you want to level. Anyway, add vanilla dungeons into the rotation. Yep. And there should be a raid, dungeons, mythic challenge mode versions world quests and a special feature with each time walking event oh. time walker version right all for current rewards so that you could spend the week hanging out in that zone Ooh. or in that expansion area i love the area. idea of about, oh, i love the idea of hanging out in somewhere that we've yeah. previously I been i think they need to really lean into it mm. and it can be evergreen it can be always going on yep so when i say special feature i'm thinking um, like you do one a day to get a reward or currency. Hmm. Maybe extend the Time Walker badge system to have a broader relevant reward or cosmetics. I would maybe, be happy if you got if you could upgrade your heirlooms quicker. Maybe you get bonus currency or whatever if you wear your heirloom gear. Hmm. Sidebar, while we're talking heirloom gear, 
all legendaries and artifacts should become heirloom gear when we move on from their expansion. That would be good. So I've brainstormed possibilities for a special event. Brace yourself. There's a long list coming. There's not. There's one for each. There's one for (laughs) each expansion. So vanilla, I would move the BFA Islands to Booty Booty Bay. Right. And repurpose them to have like, you, you land there. You've got to do two side bosses. Maybe you get a hint as to where they are, or maybe they're even on the map and you've got to fight your way to them. Two side bosses that you've got to get to and kill, yep. and then a big boss maybe comes to you and you fight and finish. Okay. And then you get your reward. Right Burning Crusade. Um, the only thing I could really think of was the Shatari Skyguard stuff you had to do to get one of those Stingray-looking mounts. Mm. There was like... Each day you went and did like yeah, where quests there? of the day. Wasn't it was in quests of the it was day in Blades Edge Mountains, and then there was also some. You when you got your Orgrilla rep, I looked it up, so I'm cheating. When you got your Orgrilla rep, it opened up other zones that you could do Shatari quests in. But I'd make it just one like event each day mm-hmm. that you could do. Burning Crusade, is that the, the second expansion? Like the first well, expansion? Yes, the second okay. version. So there was also the stuff that you did for the uh, the bird people. Yeah. The, that Akari. Was, is that what they're Akar. called? No. Yeah. Something. Anyway. There was stuff you did there, but there was something else that we did after... That was the only thing that mm. I would anyway. call a special, like, a special mm. thing that everyone did. Mm. And it was very popular. Mm. Uh, Wrath, jousting, obviously. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, no. Maybe they could change it. What else is there in Wrath? Is there anything else that was like an event style thing? There was the jousting that led you to the Colosseum. Because all the no, other stuff. I hate it, but I hated the jousting. All the other stuff like um, unlocking Hodor, Hodor or Rep was just quests. Yeah, no. So I'm thinking of an, like a thing yes, you can yes, do. Yes, yes, no, So I'm let's saying. say jousting for now. We'll think of something better. Cata- Feel free to send us your responses because yep. we obviously can't think Cataclysm, of Cataclysm, I would move the Warfront for Stromguard in there. Right. Mist scenarios, that obviously. was already there. Yes. Warlords, the Tanan Jungle event where you started at one end and you had to work your way up and check all the things that you needed to do. Yeah. The Warfront sort yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legion, um, those assaults where you take down a Legion ship. Yes, that was fun. Battle for Azeroth. I'd leave the war fronts for Darkshore in that. Yep. And I'd I'd repurpose them instead of the way they were. I would have it like someone announcing you need to go and cover this area. This this area is under attack. You need to go there. This area is under attack. And then maybe you would rush to the end okay. and take on the final one. One of the other places had a tower like Torghast. It was on top of Oh, that's the Mage Tower. Yeah. But that's an event in itself. Yes, but you could use that. They that they like to bring back. Possibly. That's not really how everyone does it, though. No, but I think all of if these they made things... it more like the Torghast, everyone could do it. Yep. <clears throat> anyway, go on. All of these things, you could do like one to five people hmm. or hmm. 20 for like um, the war fronts. Anyway, so that's Battle for Azeroth. Shadowlands, Torghast is already there, ready to go, so you'd... Maybe enough time's passed now that we can do Torghast and it doesn't feel like you have to do it for certain mm, things. You I just love do it Torghast. Because it was fun. I thought it was fun too. Yeah. But we didn't we didn't do it like a chore. That's why we no. never did it like a chore. That's true. And a lot of people did. Right. And Dragonflight, maybe Dream can Surges. Can I just suggest that if you're playing a game and it feels like a chore, you're playing it wrong. Yeah, but people like to min-max. Oh, whatever. They like to get They're their rep quickly like and stuff I'm like saying. that. Maybe they are. Mm. Um, Dragonflight's Dream Surge. As in, uh, as in the island that we're at now. What's the Dream Surge? Yeah. Where you go to well, the... Because everyone's had lots of different islands that you could use. Where you go to the Emerald to... Dream. Or you, they could just make it super... Oh, do the Super Bloom. When we've moved on. Yeah, sorry, the Super Bloom, not Dream Surge. Oh. Super, super Bloom or Soup or maybe you could mix it up. Oh, I don't yeah. know. yeah. There's heaps of things that you could do. There the are lots of things. In this one. Oh, yeah, the Hunt too, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, I'm thinking when I think of the... Um, War fronts, I think, make them more like the hunt, mm-hmm. where you go. Yeah, yeah, now we've got to go over and do this. Yeah, yeah. Now we've got to go over think, and do that yeah. because they're a good big area. Yes. The problem is, 
it's just not structured enough, yeah. I don't think, no, I think to be it, it's really idea. fun. Yeah, no, I yeah. think it's a good idea. Whereas the hunt, I like it because you go, now we're doing this. Yep. And, you, and like the Super Bloom, you just make it that if you participate enough as a group, you get a green, blue or purple bag. Yeah. Or version mm. or amount of badges yeah, no, or whatever idea. it may I like be. that idea. So. But I think there's lots that we've forgotten that could easily be used in that, in that way. Yeah. Anyway, mm. that's how I'd do time walkers. I'd that's, make them an all-in thing that you'd spent the whole week being able to go mm. and immerse yourself in that. Because I think the time walkers are good, but at the moment, just having dungeons, I don't think is enough to really make it feel like... A regular event. event. And now that there's 10 versions, if you add in vanilla, mm. um, obviously mm. they don't have, we don't have Shadowlands yet. Um, obviously we don't have Dragonflight. Maybe they could bring them in a bit quicker, but with nine or 10 different versions, you're only going to see each one three or four times. Mm. If you do that, it bi-weekly. Yeah, that's plenty. Yep. Mm, I love that. Mm. Mm. So there you go. That is a lot of information to take in, and I'm sure that there's things that we've forgotten. Absolutely, positive. Absolutely. There's things that we've forgotten. So please feel free to add your Chuck ideas. In a of comment. What, what you think would be um, good to 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 put into these events? And some of those ones. Do you know? I actually thought that. What's the thing that's going at the moment? The, the where you keep kicking me off the mount. Plunderstorm. Plunderstorm. <laughs> I thought when it was when I saw it was pirate themed. I thought, how cool would it be? My prediction for Plunderstorm, which was totally wrong. Yes. But how cool would it be? Was if it was islands repurposed, so that you but you you jump on a boat, and then maybe another boat comes alongside and you fight. You jump on the other boat. Some of some of the other boat comes and attacks you. Some of you swing over to the other boat. A little bit like that Wrath fight mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. you went across no, to the yes. other ship. Um, and then you got to the island and then you maybe had to find something or someone. I thought it was going to be something like that, but it wasn't. But that would be good. That would have been good to do that at Booty Bay. Yeah, that's why I thought island. Because the thing is that Blizzard always tries something and then if it doesn't, if it's not 100% right, they usually reuse the tech, repurpose it somehow or improve on it. Mm. And bring it back, and it's better. Mm. And I don't think they've nailed that with Islands or Warfronts. And I think both I of them were islands. nearly there. I loved Islands. I, I loved Islands too. I like too. that you didn't need to have a like a set spec. You could just go in. No, and do it, it was really doing. good. And they were good fun. It was but a good I way think again, just... the circumstances that they were brought out in made people want to do them too much. Oh, maybe I don't know. I liked them, but see, that's the thing. When we play, we we play what we like to play. We, we've never really ground out so much no, stuff. Not since really, vanilla anyway. No, but we do, like, we work hard to do the current content to get, like, our rep to get, like, we, we work hard to get our rep and yeah. so that we can buy the get the gear that but we I mean, need and for raiding and stuff. Like, with the tour gas that everyone felt pressured to do and that they yeah. burnt out on, we never, we always did it as much as we enjoyed it and then went, that's enough for now. Yeah. And yeah. so we didn't. We don't seem to burn out on stuff, no, because we're not so driven to just flog it to death. No, and was, we certainly didn't didn't feel the need to max it out in any no. way on any tune. So, nope. All right, let's move into the news. You know, speaking of contacting us, Mm. if you could find the time to like and subscribe on the YouTubes, and you can do it right now while I'm reading this out. Mm. Not that I'm reading it. This is all off the cuff. (laughs) We just remember to do this every week. Go and do it. That would really help us out. Just a like. Look, if you get to the end and you go, I freaking hated that. Don't forget to subscribe. You can click it again and unlike. Mm. Don't. Like. you can. Subscribe. Comment. I'm saying don't do it, but I'm saying the option is there. (laughs) Uh, on the socials? Yes, you can find us on YouTube at Bind on Equip Wow, on Twitter, Bind on Equip Wow, Instagram, Bind on Equip Wow, although I think someone's been a bit slack on that, and on Facebook, we're just Bind on Equip. I might re edit that whole section on what Time Walkers should be 
and resize it and chuck it on Insta. Ooh. That could be our first Insta, Insta post. That would be a good idea. Um, Go check now if I did. I probably did it. <laughs> Um, I did want to say thanks, Snowy, for asking and, and providing some content. That was nice. Thanks, and the Conti. thought pot throwback, chef's kiss. <laughs> thanks, Conti, for always adding a comment and adding traction to our Facebook post. Traction. Sizzle. Oh. Cut through. Yeah, yeah. And it means the, so the more you people comment, the higher up your post goes, the more people will see it, you see. Facebook's got a particular algorithm, but people have to comment for it to be noticed. You've had Facebook temps blind. So we did get a message from Kai, and he said, PvP streaming idea, Wemben Raj, twos in arena. We could bottle the tears. Would you call that (laughs) Chateau de Souk? Oh, my God. That makes me laugh so much, the idea, because Raj used to lose his bananas as much as you about PvP. So funny. So funny. Uh, Kai was shocked at Raj's outrage. He was. (laughs) He's rendered almost speechless, which for Kai. <laughs> um, Grim said, I always thought it was very cool and kind of James Bond-like attempt to have an ejector seat button for her mounts. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so funny. Older, he's a long-time friend. Yeah. Uh, this said, is our hey, very first original view. Hey guys, enjoying the content, but he's decided to quit WoW again. He thinks Blizzard have lost their way. The insistence of catering for the top 10% of guilds while ignoring the 90%. It's a bit of a Bernie style comment. Mm. Uh, has finally bitten. He's picked up Guild Wars 2 and he's enjoying their implementation of an MMORPG. Hey, you can jump in that one. Mm. Uh, oh, you stole my joke. Oh, did you have a joke in there? <gasps> Un-freaking-believable. That's for the dismounting. Wish you guys well, but won't be back till Blizzard change their ways. Uh, so, uh, thanks, old, for your well wishes, and we're sorry you feel that way. Personally, I don't think there's ever been an expansion with more to do. More fun ways to level and more ways to access content. Our guild is certainly not one of the top 10%, um, but we have a good time. And when there's no guildies around, we use the LFG tool. Um, the custom groups are brilliant. You can find just about anything you want to do. And, um, I know Tim's you know, really gotten into the looking for group. Well, the custom not, tab. LFG is good. The custom tab is brilliant for doing those things that you can't just automatically queue for. Mm-hmm. And we had a really good time. We learnt some things. We saw some amazing tanks in action last week. Whereas this week we LFG'd and our tanks through Time Walkers and that was not as fun. Uh, I'm just saying, if you haven't used the custom tool for a super bloom... Oh, the best! Easiest way to get a purple baggie. Yeah. Um, Back to older though. Enjoy Guild Wars. I believe you can jump now. Whoa! It's my joke. You what a dog. great joke. Outrageous. Um, Yours. You didn't write it in. I wrote it in and you stole it. I didn't see it because you do your show notes so very late. <gasps> Outrageous. Did I do it before we started? So I looked at the Dragonflight Season time, 4 PVE rewards. There's three mounts you can get. Ooh. We didn't get one for this time. We didn't get a reward, did we? Because <laughs> we didn't get to 2000, I don't think. Oh, no, but... So do you have to get to 2,000? I think so. Oh. Well, let me tell you. Well, I know for this let one. Let me tell I mean, you what's on offer. I, I think so. I'm not oh. sure. Okay. Because we, um, we got the title. I tried to the get the picture to put up, but I uh, didn't work and mm. I did want to keep 1,600. How many weeks have we got to go? About two. Mm. Oh, we're not going to make it. Mm. No. Um, there's an infinite armoradon, which is, looks like a ground mount to me. Is that the blue thing? That's the top left one. Yeah. Uh, And that's a reward from the achievement Dragonflight Keystone Master Season 4, which is to get a Mythic Plus rating of 2,000 during Dragonflight Season 4. There's a Voyaging Wilderling, which looks a pretty cool flying mount, which is like a bit of a foxy, a serpenty fox. Yes, a serpenty fox. Um, And that's for the achievement Awakening the Dragonflight Raids, which we can get because it's complete all three Awakened Raids on normal difficulty or higher in Dragonflight Season 4. So I say we just smash them all out in normal. to make sure that you've got the achievement then, because you've missed some. No, no, it's for Season 4. Oh. So they're going to remember in the last... So you have to go back and do them again. 
Yes. Okay. Remember the last time or the last couple of times? Mm. I think they did in Battle for Azeroth and Shadowlands. In the last season, they pick one raid each week. Or okay, fortnight. yes, yes. Each I'm week right. and you go back and do it and you get Something. good current rewards. Yep. Cool. So that's going to be the same. Okay, that'll so be fun. So easy to do. We can just smash that on normal mm. and then start working on our heroics. And the last one is Jigglesworth Senior, which is it's like, like a, a, a green saber tooth. Yeah. Mm. But a bit mm, ghosty. Mm. Mm. Uh, and that's for, you purchase that for three antique bronze bullion, which is the new currency that's coming out in season four. And I think it, well, the only, I tried to find out what it's from. The only thing I know it's from is, you know, the weekly dungeon quest that we used to fly down and get? Yes. I think yes. you had to do a heroic. I don't know. Sometimes it was a heroic. Sometimes there was a heroic and a mythic, wasn't there? Okay. I don't know. Anyway, that quest gives you some Maybe it was antique a normal bronze and bullion. Mm. Okay. And I don't know where else it drops yet. Oh, they're a bit, they're being a bit ages. cagey. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Well, and if it's mythic, remember now that mythic is yes. going to be like a mythic 10. Yes. And right. if it's heroic, that's going to be like right. a mythic. So Hopefully you'll get more points. Yeah. So that's the only news I cared about this week. Hmm. So let's work on our in-game stuff. How's our raid progress for Crazy Train Tempe? Well, actually, last night in Amidrasil, we got down the council on Heroic for the first time, and we had a few looks at, is it Nimu? Nimu? However you say Nimu. that. Nimu. And the Weaver? Clearly, yes. Infinite she's, Weaver. She's the one where, well, she's standing. She's got Puts two, all the boundaries out. And she's got two trees off to the side that you have to yep. kill every now and then. Kill them every now and then. Um, yes, and they, oh, I tell you what is bad. Um, it's always bad. I never like it. But those, they, she sends out those like electricity rods, the long, yes. a long beam. And they, they're like two things that come yes. out at you. Yeah, yeah. With a and, long line. Yeah. And, um, oh, they're really long in a row. Okay. <laughs> so trying to get out of them, dodge them and stay inside your lines and stay in, you know, get in the circles when they come up. It was a bit tricksy. But anyway, I guess we'll be looking into, um, uh, looking, doing a bit more research on that one. It's uh, like watching a couple of videos. To it's see. like not crossing the lines when you colour, and I enjoy it just about as much. <laughs> colouring. I don't in, mind the, that part of it, but colouring in not a, good for my ADHD brain. I find it a bit tricksy getting out of that thing. I'm just wondering whether I can use a thing and just wear it. Sure. Hmm. Anyway, that was that. Uh, weekly quests. Yeah. There's Legion Time Walkers this week, and we had quite a bit of fun with them. Temp, put a few levels on your Hunter. I did put a few levels on Four, in fact. I put a few levels on my Alliance Evoker. Nice. And also did five each on my Priest and Hunter Alliance style. Mm. Uh, there was a very high level of failed tankery this oh, time around. Oh, God, was there ever. Um, I actually also got a... Because it was the weekly quest, um, I got a lovely upgrade on my um druid so i got that and i got the four levels that's all mm, I'd, I'd i'm looking week. forward to visiting the vault yes me too um uh, and then yeah high level of fail tankery which we will touch on yes we will and never ceases to amuse me greatly mm. i didn't find it as amusing this week no i will go into that into more detail in a little bit but um i seriously twice let the tanks know that they were the over the weekend that they were the worst tanks that I've ever encountered. Yeah, you were pretty brutal. Oh, uh, well, come on. One of them didn't notice that his whole party was dead. Does just that? kept going because he had enough life, but everyone else was dying. It wasn't fun. And then another one had no idea, one, couldn't even read the map on where the bosses were, but two, had no idea about the mechanics, but acted like, they were, like they'd been tanking forever and knew what they were doing. So, and unfortunately we got... Uh, what's that? Is it? What is that dungeon where you have to kill two of the things to release the shield off the? It is. Mm, I can't think of it. Um, so you know you've got the first, the first boss is off to the right, 
and then you've got to go down the path and you've got to kill two like um naga um which witches naga witches and they they're the ones maintaining the shield on the next boss and then the next one is the green penis and that spawns versions of itself in purple green and red yeah, I want some for and that. so we all died almost doing that because they didn't know that they had to be in melee range um, one person left because they died and while they were running back he engaged the next boss like it was just horrendous I don't, we don't often talk about past partners or whatever, and I don't know how many penises you've seen, <laughs> but it's a serpent. It's a serpent. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Whatever. Anyway. I can't think what that one's called. No, me either. It's driving me nuts. One of the other ones, Neltharian's Lair. Yes. Which is the, the treasure you're looking for, is, is at the, the other, other end of this and, beast. And uh, jump in this, jump in this bar- barrel. Yeah. And no, I won't, I won't be, be doing, doing that. that. <laughs> uh, anyway, that one, where... At the start, you jump down a funnel and you surf down the um, stream and then you land at the top and then you kill a few mobs and then you go down and do that rock boss. You yes. know that rock one? Mora. Rock Mora. Then you get in the barrel and you go all the way down there to the next boss, which is like um, he's one of the dudes of the expansion, high mountain dude. Which which Time Walkers was it this week? It was um, Legion. Legion. Just go Legion Dungeons and it'll That's a good idea. trigger our me- memory. There you go, Legion Time Walking Guide, that'll do. Um, anyway, I was with a tank that, that got to that, that it's got to that second boss in two pulls. Mm. Apart from the first boss. Okay, so it is this one but it doesn't tell you yeah, what this instance is. These are the names of them. Oh. It is Eye of Ashara. Must be. Yes. Yeah. I have a shower. I have a shower. There you go. Green penis. Me. Green penis, girl, woman in shield. No and at one point, shield. there's a red penis and a blue penis as well. Three yeah. penises. Yes, I know. That's why I just said it's purple. It's not blue. Anyway. It's a bad Stupid. girl's dream. Useless. Um, all right. So there's that. Hmm. Are you still doing any Emerald Dream stuff? We're hardly... Oh, I nearly read your comment then, <laughs> as if it were mine. Yeah. We did a couple this week, but not like normal. Normally, we get yeah, out there and do them. We smash them out, usually on Friday And it was night. the easy week, too. It was the three seed week. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, but when it's the... Super bloom. Super bloom. Harder. Every hour, you know. Yes, it should be every half hour. It's then hard we'd be able because to smash them out. you look up to see how long, and it's like just finished. And yeah. You know, Oh, no, because you can't just keep doing it because it takes about 25 minutes. So then you go and kill the world boss and you're done. Hmm. So then you've got to wait half an hour. That's not fun. But we really only had the one day. Yes, Because we did. I worked and, and we, we did, did your yeah. room. And so we didn't have much time. Normally you do it yeah. on Friday night, but also Friday night then you weren't... Um, well, I had to have an early night. Yeah, we yeah. did some. We yeah. did time walkers. Yeah. But anyway, there you go. That's why. To try and pump out the time walkers, especially if you're levelling something. I really cannot stress enough... How Time Walkers needs to be cross-faction because <laughs> I have tunes that need to be leveled. You have tunes that need to be leveled, but they're not the same faction. Yeah, it's so, so it's annoying. super annoying. It is annoying, but also we know each other. We're on our friends list. We should be able to do it. Yeah. Hey, I wonder if you could do it if you joined our guild. Are you on? Is it no, on, because it's up? still cross-faction. Hmm. I know it is still cross-faction, but... I'm not, had, and I could join the guild. I'm on Gundrak, which is linked. Yes, but we have had cross-faction people, like, in our looking for groups. No, only in the Mythics. You can do it in Mythics. Yeah, but that But that you've was, got to use a group finder. That was custom. You can't Mythic... Yeah. You can't LFG Mythics. It was a custom no. group. Any LFG, any looking for, you can't do it. But you can do a custom group, which is basically looking for. Yeah. I'll tell you why. It's stupid, because there's people... That go, I don't want to play cross faction, that's not wow. Yes, be- Which okay, if you feel that way, go fucking PvP. Yeah. Or go just, war just go warm Turn it off. Yeah, A you could well they they'll probably do that. I think they're waiting until the next expansion. Mm-hmm. I really hope they're gonna bring it in the next expansion. Anyway, and have you done any mythics? Make it happen. <laughs> mythics, yes. Yes. Yes, we did. Go. Uh, we did three mythics this week: a thirteen, a Taldazar, twelve, I think, Everbloom, and I think twelve Black Rook Hold. Sounds about right. Yep. Oh, I thought we did four though. Did Maybe we? not. I don't know. 
Oh, maybe because you, oh, no, you, you sat out one. No, because we did time walkers as well. You sat out one? No, we didn't sit out this week. You sat out one? No. Oh. Nom had trouble, so oh, he didn't yeah. start with us. Yes. Then Barat sat out, yep. and then I think Conti no, went then Nom left. to bed. Nom left? Yeah. Oh, because he was still having trouble. Mm. Yes. Oh, no, he's on the phone when we started. Okay. He was on the phone. Yep. So he was on the phone for the first one, and then he had a bit of a freak out on his Game D-pad. Game pad, something. Yep. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, I'm hoping that we'll no, get a, a we new We did really piece. well. We, we just missed the Atel Desire because oh. we had a couple of mishaps. 43 seconds. Yep. But the Everbloom and the Blackbrook Hole we smashed. Yep. Um, I was spewing about that 43 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I am hoping that we'll get a hero piece from the vault that will replace one of my remaining champion pieces. That would be nice. Well, Ooh. we start at 473, I think. I think it's 473 that we'll get, yeah. We'll probably get that and then it'll be redundant because we'll start season four and it'll say season three piece. <laughs> no good for you. Mm. Streaming shenanigans. We didn't get to stream on the weekend due to working and being exhausted from that. And we're just not in the habit as yet. I'm, uh, I would, I'm hoping we'll get to the point where, like, if I get up early on Sunday morning and start playing, I'll just chuck it on the stream. And if anyone wants to say hi, they can. Mm. Or if we're just doing stuff, we just chuck it on. Yeah. Got to get good at that and need to get practice at talking to people that are chatting to us and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at that bit. Um, but I think we should do some more streaming. We were exhausted and sad and not really up for it this weekend, but I think we it, we should have really streamed some of those t- time walkers because they were really unhinged this Hilarious. week. Hilarious. Mm. Yeah. Uh, goals for your 70s? Yeah, my, mainly on my 70s now. I'm working on getting rep, which I do through the weekly quests out on Amidrasil and um, – not Amidrasil, but, you know, the Dream and also doing the 3,000 rep – in Valdraken yep. and then completing the crafting so I'm still working on leveling up crafting it's such a big thing this expansion um, my hunter got four levels this round of time walkers so another weekend with more time and hopefully I'll smash out another 70 I wonder if you can cross faction in custom groups like we can because we had some that's what I'm saying for the mythics maybe we I don't think many people are looking for like Yes, Normal but you groups. could specifically look for us. Mm. Anyway. Anywho. Mm. Late players of the week. Yes. We have two. Yep. That we need to name and shame. Brutal Savage. Bad. Bad. Tank. Very bad. bad. He is the one that um just just kept going despite the fact that people were dying and um and and couldn't hold aggro. So he would run through stuff but didn't actually hit anything. So mm. then we would run And get killed. And get killed. And then we try and run back, and oh, he was terrible, terrible. And Frundle? Frundle was the one that was useless and had no idea about the mechanics to anything. Um, he was so bad, someone else left. Um, yep. We voted to kick Brutal Savage and kicked him. He was so bad. We kicked him out. Sorry, man. Um, I did try to vote to kick Frundle, but he must have had a friend. I think some of them are DPS that are jumping the queue by being a tank. He was because terrible. one of them didn't even know the bosses that we should be going to. No, that, that was Frundle. Right. He, and when he, we turned, s- he turned left. At, yeah, um, and when in, I said, hey, so we're not doing the first, the first boss, boss. said, so, oh, do you want to do that one? Yeah, but he was just well, an idiot. Yeah, I want the but credit for the run. But he's also the person who didn't know that you had to kill two of the Naga witches no. to get the That shield. happened lots of times to me this weekend. Ugh. So Frundle was terrible. Um and he's, yeah, probably the idiot who reported. Look, you're probably nice people. No. I don't, I don't know. In fact, I'm going to say Frundle was probably the a-hole that reported my droid's name, um, which was Hoochie Mama, so nothing offensive about A very it. Very trolly name. Yes. Um, and based on the trope that Blizzard have put into the game... Um, I was in a dungeon, so it kicked me out of, of the dungeon before the last boss, so I missed the last kill, which meant that yep. I had to do a whole nother dungeon. And mostly, I'm really annoyed because it was a really good name, and I... Ref- it was I have, one of our favourite names. Yes, and I have... What is annoying me right now is that I have um, submitted a challenge to that, saying I think that it was done maliciously to grief me, 
um, and that if if it is offensive, please explain it to me because I'm not intentionally breaking the terms of use or code of conduct or any of those things. Um, but I just keep getting the same bullshit line repeated to me. So I'm on um, number three of appeals. Um, and this time I have specifically said, please do not quote the same line back to me. Either explain what I, what breach I well, have Well, they made. say they have, a, they have a code of conduct, but they don't explain how that breaches the code of conduct. Or they don't yes. even say, we believe that name breaches the code yes. of conduct because everything is automated now. Yes. Which... So all I'm after is someone to look at it and say, this is a breach because of this. Like yeah. it's a drug reference or whatever, which yeah. is ridiculous. But I, I would accept... I would accept someone really looking at it, reviewing it and saying it is offensive or it isn't offensive. Because we, we see your earnings calls. We know how much money you're making from this game. So don't tell us you've removed devs to because you're really worried about your bottom line and just you're just scraping a few bucks together. All of us are paying 15... Well, Australians pay 20 a month. Mm. Mm. Other countries pay more than 15 as well. We're all paying for it. So actually, if you give us some service, if there's if it's meant to be a service. Yeah. So I just I just want someone to actually look at it and read it because I've had to change the name so that I could keep playing and I want the name back. There was nothing wrong with the name. It's not offensive. And if they do think it is offensive and I have breached it, tell me exactly how. You've got your terms of use and you've got your conditions, but what you're doing is allowing they people to grieve. Yeah, they can't say which part you've breached because you well, haven't. Exactly. So tell me where I've breached it exactly or acknowledge that people are using the report function to grieve people and that's not okay. They need to fix that then. Yep. Anyway, we've had our say. Yes. What an extremely long episode Long. Approaching 45 minutes. Jeepers, that is not snack it's sauce. I, it's because I crapped on so much about it, the Time Walkers. It is. And I crapped on about my name. I'm so sorry, everyone. <laughs> Look at the regret on my face. It's Snowy's. Snowy's fault. I blame Snowy. I love Snowy. <laughs> I love Snowy too. So we've come to the end of another episode of Bond on Equip. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Until next time, I'm Wembley. I'm Tempest. Half hour. Bye.